On a rainy night in upstate New York, a young man sits in silence, his eyes full of regret. Years of grinding in school and false promises have led to nothing. This is the story of far too many people, all entering the computer science field with huge dreams, only to be faced with the reality of the job market. How did this trap happen, and will it continue, or is there hope? To figure this out, we need to go back in time. The date is December 31st, 1999. The muffled buzz of your home phone at the far end of the room wakes you up. You drowsily open your eyes and hobble over to the desk in great confusion. I need you to come to the office now. Why is he calling me so late? You annoyingly agree. Expecting the worst, you head into his cabin. I've called you for a very important reason. Look at our stock price! For the past few years, your company has been receiving insane investing and funding, sending your salary and the stock price through the roof. The company is planning to hire thousands of new employees soon. The future is in the internet, everyone says. Great time to be a programmer, eh? Well, a couple of months later, while things are going well, you receive another phone call. Dude, turn on the TV. The bubble has burst. The dot-com bubble was the largest US stock market crash since the Great Depression and made hundreds of thousands of workers unemployed and companies bankrupt. Look at the stock price of these companies before and after the crash. So what caused this crash? To put it simply, you have this new technology that everyone's hyped about and people start investing like crazy. A lot of these companies had very unsustainable business models. Due to all this extra money these companies had, Hiring in the tech field increased super quickly. Salaries were high, and many companies were overhiring. Want to get rich? Learn to code. Well, good things only last so long, and as the interest rates rose, investor confidence decreased. The bubble burst, leaving the job market destroyed. Sound familiar? Well, I think more kids should learn to program. I think everybody in this country should learn how to program a computer. Fast forward to the mid-2010s, and people are listening to this advice. Coding has been branded as the career of the future as university admissions for computer science skyrocket. Many boot camps emerge as a way for people to enter the field quickly. Six-figure salaries were abundant alongside jobs. Then, in March of 2020, it happened. And the World Health Organization has just declared. Well, you know what happened. Picture this. During the lockdown, you're sitting at home. Hey, I should do something useful with my time. So you hop on the internet and find this intro to the computer science course. You do some research and find you can make pretty easy money, maybe even remotely. You just fell for the coding trap. The lockdown increased the number of people coding, as people were sitting at home, not sure what to do. What the lockdown also brought was an increase in interest rates and an increase in the price of pretty much everything. Well, if you're a company, you need to save money. Boom! Layoffs, layoffs, layoffs. And that brings us to today. You can't get a job because companies are trying to save money, and because of the coding hype, there's a huge influx of programmers who have oversaturated the market. So, what's the future like? You can see the similarities between the dot-com bubble bursting and today's job market. Both are the aftermath of growth in the tech industry. However, today, there's a new variable. AI. AI will replace certain jobs, but it'll also create a bunch of new jobs. The market will likely pick up in the next few years, with interest rates hopefully falling and a shift in the jobs available. And no, coding isn't finished. Don't listen to the fear mongers online. AI can write code, but it can't deal with complicated decisions that humans have to make. Just like after the dot-com crash, the market's going to change. It's a cycle we'll probably see a few more times. However, only time can truly tell.